Hey everybody, this is Dave Burgess from Dave Burgess Consulting, and we are trying to disrupt the educational publishing industry. And so I created this video for you to show you the 10 books that we have available for you as 2015 comes to a close. It started with Teach Like a Pirate, and this was my educational manifesto. This was my story about how I felt we needed to change education and a practical roadmap for exactly how to do it. So this is all about making school a life-changing experience for students and creating classrooms that have kids knocking down the walls to get in. And so Teach Like a Pirate, you can read it in English, you can read it in Korean, you can read it in, in complex Chinese, you can read it in simplified Chinese, or you can even read it in Russian. But pick up a copy of Teach Like a Pirate and check it out. Then, with my wife Shelly, we put together a full color illustrated ABC book called P is for Pirate, Inspirational ABCs for Educators. This took the Teach Like a Pirate messages plus many more, and we put them in a very fun format, easy to access, very accessible. This is not for kids. This is for teachers. This is for educators. And so it also includes, not only did we work with an incredible artist named Genesis Kohler to put this together, we also worked with our incredible editor, Aaron Casey. And this is fantastic. It makes a wonderful gift book for educators as well. So check out P is for Pirate. Then, major props to Don Wetrick. Don was the first educator to sign with DBC Inc. for his book, and his book is called Pure Genius. He is an innovations teacher in Indiana, and he took Genius Hour and he put it on steroids. He took 20% time and he made it 100% time. There's lots of talk about innovation and education these days. Well, here's a guy who's actually doing it in a classroom with kids. His kids are doing real world projects, connecting with outside experts, authentic work. I mean, he is, even has kids that have patents because because of some of the stuff that they've done in his class. So if you're interested in innovation and what it looks like for kids to actually do real world work in, in school, then Pure Genius is the place to go. Next up, we went to Paul Solar as a teacher outside of Chicago, and we said, what you're doing in your classroom, how you've created a student-led culture is unbelievable. And so we want you to swing open the doors of your classroom and show us everything that you do to get students to collaborate like this, to get students to lead their classrooms. And what it became was the second book in the Teach Like a Pirate series. It's called Learn Like a Pirate. And so if you are interested in student-led classrooms, which of course you should be, then this is the book for you. It's called Learn Like a Pirate. Again, it's the second book in the Teach Like a Pirate series. I'm certainly no expert at tech integration, but we found somebody who was. Matt Miller from Indiana put together Ditch That Textbook. This is all about getting rid of that textbook mentality. That idea that that book, which is outdated by the time it hits the desk of your students anyway, is gonna somehow drive instruction. It doesn't make any sense at all in the world that we live in, where we have all these digital tools at our disposal, all this technology, all of these resources that we can tap into. So Ditch That Textbook is his manifesto about how we can change education through the use of technology. I call this tech like a pirate. He even does a workshop for us called the Digital Pirate. And so this is a, a, great, a great mix and match with the Teach Like a Pirate philosophy. So check it out. Uh, Alice Keeler and Libby Miller, they are experts at Google Classroom. So they have written 50 things you can do with Google Classroom. They are education professors at Fresno State, and so they teach people all the time how to use Google Classroom. They know exactly what people need to know to get started, and so this goes from the very, very most basic ideas of Google Classroom to more to a more advanced level. So 50 things you can do with Google Classroom. Alice Keeler might be the foremost expert on Google Classroom in the world right now. She has written over 100 blog posts on Google Classroom alone. So Libby and Alice put this together, and and it's a fantastic, fantastic primer on Google Classroom. Hey, you know what? Our kids are being bombarded with media messages constantly. They're 24-7, 365, our kids are being bombarded with media messages. So Julie Smith, a professor from Missouri, a media literacy professor, wrote Master the Media, How Teaching Media Literacy Can Save Our Plugged-In World. Simple truth, if we're not providing media literacy skills to our students, then we are doing them a disservice. And so this is a fantastic book, not just if you're an educator, but if you're a parent. This could change the way that you talk about the media with your kids. It certainly has changed what we, what Shelly and I, how we talked about the media with our, with our children. So Master the Media is a fantastic media literacy book, how you can embed it. It's not some separate subject. It's how you can embed it through no matter what it is that you teach. We are, we are overworked as educators. We have a job where we can never be done. Stress 
chaos? Dan Chikarico put together the answer. It's called the Zen Teacher. If you're interested in bringing more balance back into your life as an educator, more mindfulness into your life as an educator and into the classroom, then this is the book for you. And so this has been getting fantastic reviews. There are, there are people that have read this book and said that it changed their life, that this was the exact message they needed to hear at the exact right time. So the Zen Teacher for Balance and Mindfulness in Education is a great place, great place to look. George Kuros is one of the top thinkers in education right now. And he has put together an incredible game-changing book called The Innovator's Mindset. Empower learning, unleash talent, and lead a culture of creativity. So you've heard of the fixed mindset, the growth mindset. This is the next step, which is the innovator's mindset. And this is all about how we get kids to be creators, not consumers, makers, not memorizers. And how we can take every school system has amazing stuff happening in pockets. Somewhere in your school system, there is amazing stuff going on. Well, how could we take that and make it go in make it go system-wide? How can we take innovation and make it go viral in your school system? The Innovator's Mindset is a game-changing educational book. Check it out. And finally, the 10th book, the last book to be released officially in 2015 in the DBC Inc. line, it's from Michael Matera, a gamification guru. It's the third book in the Teach Like a Pirate series, and it's called Explore Like a Pirate. It has an unbelievable, be unbelievably beautiful cover. It's all about how we can take these principles of gamification, game-inspired course design, and embed them in our curriculum. A lot of times I hear people say, kids today, they have short attention spans. They can't pay attention to anything. Well, you know what? That same kid will go home and play video games for like eight hours and barely be able to put the controller down to use the bathroom. They're so into it. So you can't tell me that kids have short attention spans. But what we can maybe agree on is that how we're, what we're doing in school is not tapping into what they find most engaging. And so this is all about how you can take gamification principles, the things that make gaming so engaging for our students, and add them into what you're doing in your curriculum. It's not just about behavior management, right? This is all about how you can embed it in the actual teaching of your content. And so Explore Like a Pirate, the third book in the Teach Like a Pirate series, it just hit the press. It just came out. All 10 of these books are available on Amazon. Uh, so check them out. They're, if you order them right now, you'll be able to get them before the end of winter break. And connect with me. Connect with Shelly. I am at Burgess Dave on Twitter. So connect with me at, at Burgess Dave. Also, Shelly is at Burgess underscore Shelly. Shelly with an E-Y on the end. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. So thank you so much for spending eight minutes with me.